Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, it's a beautiful August day, and you know what? School is getting ready to start back. A lot of the teachers have already gone back, and so everybody's kind of in the school mood. Oh my goodness, when I went to buy my groceries, I mean, there were people everywhere, everywhere buying pencils, notebooks, notebook paper, all those things that they need for school. And so the buggies were just loaded up with it. And so here I am trying to buy my groceries and trying to get in a checkout lane. And anyway, I got it done. And so um, I hope you're having a good day. And you know, starting back to school, I'm gonna tell you, it reminds me of a cute story. You know, I told you that my mother worked in the school system and that's what she retired from. And so she worked in several different um, uh, levels of education, but one of them was being lunchroom supervisor. And so it was a small school, so they could really do really homemade stuff for the children. I'll tell you the story about the rock and roll beans, which everybody just loved. But they also made um, homemade cinnamon rolls. Well, y'all, that was just the love of every student. And so when they made them, all that morning when the children were out playing on the playground, they could smell the cinnamon rolls. So everybody would get, get so excited. And so they were getting ready. They would come in and come in the dining room and it was just so everybody. And of course, you always got those few that don't eat it. So they trading their other stuff for cinnamon rolls. But one little boy told a story after he got out of school he said, you know, when I would go in the lunchroom, he said, Miss Evelyn would always give me an extra cinnamon roll and I didn't have to trade anything with anybody. And he said, you know what the reason was? He said, I had a slight limp. He said, and I really think she felt a little bit sorry for me. He said, that is the only time that that limp came in handy for me. <laughs> so he always got an extra cinnamon roll out of it. Y'all, today we are going to be making um, a casserole. It's kind of like a once up a dish. You can do this with a salad and just have it ready. So we're going to jump right into it. And you don't have very many ingredients that you have to work with. So the first thing we're going to do is our cream of chicken soup. All right, let's see. Oh, Caroline, I'm in. Oh, Caroline's videoing me today. Kayleen and I spent the morning at Verizon, not at Spectrum, changing my phone. Y'all, that's an ordeal that no old person should have to go through. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Thank goodness she was with me. She did most of the talking and the doing. Okay. All right. This is a can of cream of celery soup. All right. We're going to mix those two together. Just mix up like this, and we're gonna put a can of water in there. Okay, mix this up. Get these acquainted with with one another. Okay, now then, this is. Um, Uncle Ben's original long grain rice, and it's the original recipe. So that, that's the one you'll be looking for. So we're going to just empty that right in there. And this is the little packet that comes with it. So we'll put that in there also. Okay. And we'll stir this up. And we'll be right okay, back, y'all. All right, this is a 9 by 13 casserole dish. A half a stick of butter. Mercy me. Let's put that in there. We're going to let that melt. And I'll tell y'all, I've got this new microwave, and it's taken me a long time to get used to what to do with it and what buttons to push. But... It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, y'all. <laughs> I had my other one for years, and so, but we're just gonna let this melt, and then I'll show you what our next step is. So this is very easy casserole, and be one that you would just love. 
you know, for your family. You could cook it. It's very quick to cook. And so while we're waiting on that to melt, why don't we go ahead and set our oven? We're going to set it on 350 degrees. So, all right, let's see if this is melted. Oh, yes. Okay. That's nice and melted there. Okay, Caroline, let's move over here. All right, y'all. Now, in the bottom of the casserole dish, we're going to put some Parmesan cheese. And this is just your regular Parmesan grated cheese. And this is a six ounce package. So, just dump that in there, the whole package. Just spread it out a little bit across the bottom of your, of your pan. Okay. Now, take this, this all mixed up. Spread that in our casserole dish. that out kind of even over that over that cheese okay now we'll put our chicken breast on there and I I bought just kind of regular chicken breast you know it's hard to find the little ones but that's okay well Get these in here. And this is, now, if you wanted to make a, a smaller casserole, you could actually just use less chicken. And just whatever would suit for, for your family, the amount of people that you would serve. Okay, these are crispy fried onions. Just the French's brand. Any, any brand will do. The, the store brand is fine. So we'll get this open. Maybe. Okay. Just gonna sprinkle some of these just across the top of our casserole. Oh, y'all, I love those. I can just eat them by myself. Next thing we're going to sprinkle on is this Lipton's dried onion soup. And use just the onion soup. They have several flavors, so um, don't use like the beefy or, or any of those. Just use just that plain, the plain dried onion soup. Okay. I'm just going to shake it up just a little bit. Okay, y'all. Just spread it evenly. Kind of over the top of your chicken. Y'all, isn't that easy? Now, I mean, anybody can do that. All right, what we're going to do. All right, Caroline, just stand right there. I'm going to get the tin foil. Smells good. We need a smell, smell amoeba. Okay, we're going to cover this with tin foil. Oh, wow. Okay, and as soon as our oven gets ready, we'll be right back and we'll get it in the oven. All right, the oven's ready. Oh, I'm going to show you all this. Look at this, this is called tea towel. Now, one of my viewers crocheted these. I mean, it's one for every day of the week that she sent for me. And I love it. I read the story on tea towels and it said that women used to use them like when you had your dishes all piled up here, you took your tea towel and put over it so everybody didn't see your dishes all just sitting up there. All right, let's get this in the oven.
All right, we're gonna set our timer. Let's see, let's do 45 minutes and let's see what it looks like at the end of 45 minutes. We'll check it. So we'll let it cook and Carolina and I will be back. Okay, y'all, our timer is telling us that this is ready. So let's take it out here. I'm gonna sit it up on top of the stove and we'll check it out. Well. Y'all, I wish you could smell this. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. All right, Caroline, let's move it over here. All right, y'all, we're gonna get a fork here and let's just kind of make sure everything's done. Yeah, that chicken looks like it's good and done. Okay, we're going to let it cool here for just a few minutes. And then we'll take up a little dish of it and see what it looks like. So, we'll let it cool a little bit and we'll be right back. Y'all, okay. hey, I checked this and I cut a piece of the chicken. And it is not quite done. So, we're going to put this back in the oven. I'm not going to put the tin foil back over it. Just going to put it in here. All right, we're going to cook it 10 more minutes. Okay, we'll check it after 10 minutes and let you know what happened. So that was 45 minutes at first that we cooked. And so now we're cooking it 10 more minutes and we'll make sure that chicken is done all the way through. Um, Probably what you could do is maybe not have your chicken quite so thick. I believe if I had cut that chicken um, longwise and cut it in half, it would have cooked easier. So that may be something that you want to keep in mind is to not use your chicken too thick. So we'll be back and we'll check it though. Okay, y'all, I think that 10 minutes did it. So we are going to get this out, put it over here. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will. Okay, y'all, this is, this is really hot, so I'm, I'm going to see if I can. Y'all, isn't that beautiful? Now look, that would be so pretty if you had, you know, like a dinner plate and have you a colorful vegetable on the side. That's a meal within itself. So let's see what it tastes like. I'm a good taste tester. This tastes really good. And let's taste this little side part here. Well, I love these onions. Mm, okay. Let's see. Okay. Caroline, you want to taste the... I can. Okay. Okay. Caroline agrees with me. It is very tasty. Y'all, it just... It, it has so much flavor, and, and that's what I love about it. You know, some dishes, you just kind of got to figure out and make them taste good in your mind. Trust me, this has every kind of ingredient that um that hits those taste buds and makes it taste real good now this is not in the cookbook so you know you've got those sheets in there where you can make your notes so if this kind of appeals to you and it's like a one dish meal with a salad or a side vegetable anything like that it would just be so easy to make and easy to serve not only that <laughs> is really good so that being said i hope y'all have a good rest of the day a good rest of the week and oh everybody remember shine for jesus